One of the state's noted convicted murderers is working to appeal his case. The public defender's office, or the public defenders rather, representing Stephen Avery have filed some motions on his behalf. In 2007, Avery was convicted of killing 25-year-old freelance photographer Teresa Halbuck. Halbuck was last seen on Avery's family salvage yard property. She was there to take pictures of a minivan for a magazine. In court, investigators testified they recovered her remains in a burn pit behind Avery's trailer. Avery was sentenced to life in prison without parole, and his nephew, Brendan Dassey, was also convicted of Halbuck's murder and sentenced to life in prison. Now, Avery's attorneys are saying he didn't get a fair trial. Becky DeVries is in our News and Content Center this evening with this Fox 11 follow-up on quite a procedure that's occurring. Becky? Well, Avery's public defenders filed 60 pages worth of paperwork listing reasons and examples of evidence they say that should have been allowed at Stephen Avery's trial. Part of the motion they filed is sealed, which means the public cannot read it, but about 30 pages of the motion detail how other people could have murdered Teresa Halbuck. The motion names Stephen Avery's brothers, Charles and Earl Avery, as well as his nephews and his brother-in-law, and a few other people who Avery's attorneys believe would have the potential to murder Halbuck. During Avery's trial a few weeks ago, or excuse me, a few years ago, his attorneys were not allowed to introduce evidence pointing to others who may have committed the murder. Jerry Buting, who represented Avery at trial, said, We're in agreement with the motion for a new trial. They're reiterating the reasons why we think that was unfair for the judge to deny us the opportunity to present other possible suspects to the jury. I also contacted Mike Halbuck, Teresa's brother, today. He says it's been three and a half years since Teresa's death, and my family and I are thankful that we're one step closer to finality and peace. I also contacted Avery's father, or Avery's family, prosecutors who worked on the Halbuck case and Avery's current public defenders. None of them wanted to comment for this story.